Okay Frankly Fourth. Welcome to your first elimination. Our total vote count this episode was 54. Which is the same as the last elimination. Now let's start reading the hate comments. Adam Esposito says. I vote for Mamwa because someone poured bananas on her hair and brownies on her shirt. Oh no that's a double roast. No oh 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 Jason H says. Mamwa because her hair looks like lemons. No 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 Stop roasting me. Please? Brickman says. River Edge because Get out of here, River Edge. No 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 no. Chase Wolf says. River Edge because dog attack. No 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 no. Stop attacking me. Robert Evans says. River Edge cause he doesn't like pin a full pen. There is a spelling error in this hate comment. So I will not respond to it. River Edge has three hate comments. Moving on. Dragon Demon 3000 says. New Brunswick because. This is illegal you know. No R18 says. New Brunswick because the team left the field and started Scarlet White Knighting on the internet again. Ha ha, I get it. That's hilarious. Even though I'm a Scarlet Knight's fan. KJF Enterprises says. New Brunswick because. Carlton and Stars. Boss! Um, New Brunswick has three hate comments. So let's just move on to the next hate comment. Daniel Javier says. Allendale because. No. I point out the ripoffs. Also, there is a spelling error in this hate comment. Happy Kyle 1119 says, I vote for Allendale. Because Garrison is so liberal, that last challenge probably would have sent him to the ICU. Also, if the Kipsy was here, she would say, This is empty, yeet. Bonk! Ouch. Hey, what the hell was that for? Alex Verrein says, Allendale because universal. Um, Allendale has three hate comments. So let's just move on to the next hate comment. Relid says, Short Hills because how ironic that I'm writing this hate comment when I'm 13 and then voting ends on my birthday, which I am going to be 14. So that means he will be reading this hate comment on or after my birthday, which I'll be 14 by then. Okay then. Happy birthday to you. MLG Freak 2020 says, Short Hills because Nuke Master <laughs> Jacob's blog, Stand Up to Autism says Short Hills because his cousin is Long Hills Not really Even though we both have hills in our names We're in different counties I hate to break it to you Short Hills has three hate comments Moving on IJ says Gladstone because hashtag re. Oh. So are we going to bring George's bizarre adventure into this? BFDI, David and Rocky Animation says. Gladstone because I hate her black hair. Cut it off stupid lazy station. Oh hell no! BFDI, Woody and Spongy Animation says. Gladstone because Jenga. Um, Gladstone has three hate comments. So let's just move on to the next hate comment. EJ Paragaming says, Long Branch because water. I'm getting electrocuted. Catherine Guyton says, Now that the capital of New Jersey is eliminated, I vote for Long Branch for three reasons. One, 
New York Penn X Newark Penn Times Newark Airport X Nationwide Times Secaucus X Hoboken Times New Bridge Landing X River Edge Times Raritan X Somerville Times Kingsland X Lynnhurst Times Gladstone X PPAC Times Mount Tabor X Hillsdale Times Pearl River X Roselle Park equals you in Jupiter. 2. If he's not eliminated, I'll take him along with Elberin, Linden, Belmar, the Newark siblings, New Hamburg, and nationwide on a tropical vacation to Jamaica, which is from July 19th through July 25th. 3. Blue Skidoo, Weekend 2. Okay stop. This hate comment is so messed up. And it's all because of the shipping equation. I mean, just look at it. Tell me what's wrong with it. Marlis Guido says, I vote for Long Branch cause he is a ripoff of Clayton from AL Elimination. To be honest, it doesn't feel the same and Weston isn't here to say it. Long Branch has three hate comments. Moving on. Dragonus2006 says, I vote for Pensakin because the car that goes we will will arrest you for using dead phrases for more than two years. You are under arrest for using dead phrases for more than two years under the orders of Dragonus 2006. You have the right to remain silent or else you are going to ADX Florence. Jeremiah Witt says, Netcong because Lake. Stop getting me wet. J. Michael Myers says. Netcong because the car that goes we will will arrest you for yawning too much. Hell no. You are under arrest for having a grammar error in this hate comment. You have the right to remain silent or else you are going to ADX Florence. Katie Rest Connors says. Nether would be cuz. Look at all my money. Are you trying to be annoying? Bang bang bang. No, 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 that was not nice of you to use my name against me. Chase Wilson says. Nether would be cuz. Pew pew pew. And, the car that goes we will will arrest you for what you are doing on the voting screen. You know, when you commit VST, it automatically cancels everything out. And it's the car that goes we woo, not the car that goes we woo. And that's all of the hate comments. Now let's get into these votes. Pensakin got one vote. Mawa got three votes. River Edge and Short Hills got four votes. Allendale, Long Branch, and Netcong got five votes. Netherwood got six votes. Gladstone and New Brunswick, you are the bottom two. One of you will be eliminated. Display the votes. So that means Gladstone is the last one safe, with seven votes. And New Brunswick, with 14 votes, you are eliminated. Oh my god. You did not just eliminate the Scarlet Knight. That's it. It's penalty time. Personal foul. Elimination. Viewers. All 14 viewers that voted for me. Negative 14 vote penalty. Automatic rejoin. You know, I think it's a good idea to have a new challenge every once in a while. As in, a challenge in this series that wasn't in any of the previous seasons. And that's exactly what today's challenge is about. In today's challenge, you will be experimenting with lights, and trying to make them brighter. The team with the dumbest light will face elimination. And your experiments may now begin. Hey guys, am I the only person who thinks that this challenge is a bad idea? I mean, what if the lights are too bright? because then Super Yoshi might go blind. And we might as well. Relax T-Pack. I'm sure everything will be fine. And besides, I'm 99% sure that there's a limit on how bright the lights are going to be. Agreed. And you know what? This reminds me of two music tracks. 
The first is Brighter Than the Sun by Colby Kalett, and the other is Brighter Days by Dromel Starks, the one playing right now. Wait a minute. Oh no. There goes the fourth wall. And you know what they say. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put the fourth wall back together again. Wait a minute. Cherry Hill broke the fourth wall? How did he do that? Well, he broke the fourth wall because he mentioned a song playing right now, which, need I remind you, is Brighter Days by Trammell Starks. That's how he broke the fourth wall. And I think you just broke the fourth wall again. Because you're the second person to mention the song playing right now. You know, I'm getting really annoyed right now. Because I don't have my water. And I must have my water or I become triggered beyond belief. Calm down Lake Hapatko. You can easily just put the light bulb on maximum brightness and be done with it. Then you can drink water. Back to fixing this thing though. Oh my god guys. I found out the funniest thing ever. So you know how my brother New Brunswick got his ticket by getting to the finals and got 4th place in Season 7? Well ironically, he was the 4th one eliminated this season. No way! You're kidding! That's the funniest thing ever, and I'm about to go into a laughing spasm. Ha 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 I mean, can you believe that? My boy Jersey Avenue be outlasting his brother. Is the funniest thing ever. Our main character squad gonna prevail over all these losers. And don't worry guys. I'll make sure that anyone who tries to get in their way gets banned from the server. No one will mess with us, and all of us will go to the final four. Not gonna lie here. If you're going to have a date, you don't want to make the light too bright. Because then it could be bad for the people on the date. You know. I really want to wave a flag right now. But if I let go of this light bulb, it will fall to the ground and break. And then I will have to start over. Same here. And I do not want to start over. Because then they can't even say no to bullying. Also, not gonna lie here. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with this light bulb. Right now I'm just twisting it around and hoping for the best. Honest to God Garfield. It's not even that hard. All you have to do is adjust the switch and keep twisting the light bulb, which is what you were doing. Remember kids? The power of God and angel powers are the best powers known to man. Hey! Making the light bulbs brighter? I know that they call this a challenge, but this is easy. Not to brag of course. I know right? All we have to do is adjust the wiring in the light bulb, and poof! Maximum brightness. And how are you guys doing over there? We're doing pretty good. And we're also finding it easy to make the light bulbs too. All we have to do is twist the light bulb and switches. At first, I didn't think it was possible to find something easier than getting my weekend service. But this is just one of the many things that happens to be that way. Agreed. This is so easy that I don't even have to complain about it. It's that easy. Also, I can feel the anime powers within me. It helps to make this challenge a lot easier than I expected. This challenge? Easy? No doubt about that. Like we all said, you just have to do a few simple steps and you're done. And do you guys think we've achieved maximum brightness yet? Because if not, then surely we're almost there. We can win this. Hey, Sikakis. Do you think this challenge is easy? Because it's not that hard to modify the light bulb's brightness. Yeah, it's really easy. There's not a lot of steps that you have to do when altering the light bulb's brightness. Just for the record, all you have to do is switch around the light bulb and then you're finished. And for those behind me, all you have to do is twist both the light bulb and the switch. Not gonna lie, I'm surprised that I haven't had a heart attack based off how bright the light is. It's just, I don't even. And this is so easy that I don't have to call it out with my TF2 heavy voice. It's kind of surprising if you ask me. Quite honestly, even though this challenge is easy, I'd rather be counting my money. But still, I have so much money, and I can never run out. Even if I don't count it. Not gonna lie here. This challenge is way too easy. I think Karoshi is running out of new challenge ideas. Even though he has many from the past few seasons. I'll be honest. I feel a bit nervous while doing this challenge. 
even though it's easy. I mean, what if the light bulb falls and breaks? Atko, chill. As long as you grip the light bulb tightly, it's not going to fall out of your grip. It's actually kind of simple. You know what? I don't care. This challenge is way too easy. Ow. I think I might be able to do it in my sleep. Just say. Hey guys. Can we maybe not lose this challenge unlike the last time? Because then one of us might get eliminated. Don't tell me what to do. Besides, I'm sure I can play my own part in helping us not lose. Well Allendale, this is an easy challenge. So I'm sure it won't be that difficult for us to stay safe this episode. Personally, I wasn't planning on having us lose. This challenge being easy is a bit of an understatement. Personally, I think I want us to be safe the most. Because I was almost eliminated this episode. And if we lose this challenge, I very well could be screwed. Well tell you what Gladstone. We'll do our best so that that doesn't happen. I mean, nobody wants to lose. So we're not going to allow ourselves to do so. This is an easy enough challenge already. So winning it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Achieving maximum brightness isn't that hard you know. No doubt about that. And as long as we win this challenge, the coast is clear. Just like it was every other time we've won. Oh no guys, I messed up and now I'm getting shocked by my own electricity. Um, I don't really have anything to say about the white screen. Forgotten character logic I guess. The challenge is over. Now let's see the results. Superbly second is first, frankly fourth is second, viewer variety is third, terrifically third is fourth, and fantastically first is last. This means the team fantastically first will be facing elimination. So viewers, vote for one of these characters, Atco, Belmar, Boundbrook, Ho Ho Cuss, Montvale, New Providence, New York Penn, Princeton Junction, Ridgewood, or Secaucus. To be eliminated.